So, this is another one of my uh, little creations here. It's just a, uh, a fireplace, for the most part. And this is an improvement on uh, a previous design, which had a little quirk. When you push the button, it only had a block, and you had to drop down. And to climb back out, you had to jump up. But as you can see, it got rid of that by having that block there turn into a stair block. It was a little tricky to get everything to work right. And I have this over here, which I used to test it to make sure I got it right. Because every once in a while it would kind of flip flop, so I would have stairs and then the other part of the fireplace would be open. So I used this to uh, lock it out, turn on half of it, get it working right, and then unlock it. But uh, just get rid of that. That works fine. And put here. That can go up on top, one down, anywhere really. Just have to tie it in here. And uh, it's pretty easy. I've got. Uh, this over here, this block, wooden, uh, it lets me know which end is up. So I've got, right now, the stairs. If I push this button again, I swap it out, and now I have a solid block. Now back to the stairs, and it opens up. Same with down here. Push it, closes, push it again, opens. The rest, like uh, my first one, way over there, was all about timing. You know, delaying one block after another to get the right uh, look. So it closes in a pretty presentable manner. And as you can see, it has kind of a low profile. This wall doesn't have to be here. A block does have to be on either side, but uh, you really don't notice it. And because it has such a slim profile, you hardly know that it's even here in the first place. Three blocks wide, and uh, you have a passage that's walled off on either side, and it looks really nice.